Hey everybody, welcome back to The Nexus where we spotlight some of our favorite local businesses and some of our stars here at True North Technologies. Um, we always like to highlight a few of our great offers that we have going on on tap on it. Um, right now we have um, Patty's Pub, Villa More, Soap Laundry, Rock and Joe, Patty's, oh I said Patty's Pub already, um, Delicioso is a new one. So. I uh, hope you guys are signed up to get those messages. It's really easy. You text tap on it to 82928 and confirm your zip code. So without further ado, I am so excited to introduce my guest today. I have Chris Peterson here from Leadership Harbor. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good to be here. Oh, well, I'm. you guys are all in for a really big treat because Chris will just like brighten your mood and make you feel motivated. So I think that's her her tagline should be <laughs> Ms. Motivation. <laughs> I'll take Stop it. you from um, chasing the squirrels. We were just talking um, about the squirrel is real. The squirrel is real. <laughs> Absolutely. So easy to get distracted. Yeah. Well, welcome, Chris, and tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to where you're at today. How I got to where I'm at today. Wow. Um, so I uh, own a company with my husband called Leadership Harbor, and we do coaching and consulting for personal development, business development, team development. Um, we've actually just expanded this year, so we have lots of different lanes. Uh, we have a finance coach, we have a, a DEI, so diversity, equity, and inclusion coach. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a person who focuses on youth and young adults and those that serve them. And we have a 12-year-old that is actually serving as a youth ambassador Oh wow! And yeah, That's so cool. He's he's awesome. So um, his name is Dax. He's a martial artist artist. I guess I would put it that way. But he's a world champion. Oh my goodness! And he's twelve. And he he came to us because well, you know, he thinks that kids should understand their why. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. That is like the greatest thing I've ever. I know heard. it. It just <laughs> made, it just it makes me happy because he just is like I just don't understand why we don't know that. I'll make a lot better decisions when I understand my why. And I was like, that he's like wise beyond his years. Oh, I mean, I don't so know very wise. many yeah. forty-year-olds that can recognize how important that is. Yeah. Well, sometimes and spend time seeking it out. Seeking it out is yeah. amazing. That's to me. the biggest yeah. part yeah. of yeah. it. So he's helping us with our youth programs, and, and that's awesome. Thinking from a youth perspective. Oh well, yeah, you can totally talk all day it. long like, oh, I think we should do whatever mm -hmm. and be totally wrong, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean. No, he's, he's, I mean, he knows, he's 12. That is super, so, super cool. Yeah, it's fun. So, well, yeah, yeah so, and that's it, like such a great resource, you know, if there is like a youth that needs someone to talk to another youth. Exactly. I mean, that's huge. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love to see how you guys have expanded since I first met you. We were mm -hmm. talking about how we met and it was here at um, Perk Up. Right. At the Focus Suites. So like a couple of like really influential people in my life have come from um, meeting them here and maybe that's why I feel so comfy here. Um, but yeah, Chris uh, introduced me also to her daughter, Mandy, who mm -hmm. is a graphic artist and she's incredible. Um, she's done a little bit of work for us as well and um, just have really enjoyed our one-to-ones, Chris. You always have just the right um, nugget for me to like <laughs> hold on to and keep going. So Good. yeah, Good. That's, well, my, you. that's my favorite thing. Um, and we were also talking about the importance of coaching. Absolutely. I'm a huge proponent. Um, I recommend that to business owners all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm never without a business coach. And so talk a little bit about that and why you're so passionate about coaching. Oh, well, coaching is forward thinking. It's helping you think now for the future. Yeah. So literally you take the stuff that's inside your head and you know those the squirrel is real kind of moments yeah but you can focus in on something that you want to accomplish mm -hmm. you talk with a coach about it they draw out what's inside of you through questions might be a little bit of mentoring on the side if you need mm -hmm. a little point or two and then uh, it just unlocks that potential that you don't even know exists inside yeah. of you and the minute you start unlocking that potential it's almost like uh, I don't know. I, I call it an addiction. I mean, it's like, yeah. you, you know, a little Sky's bit. Sky's the limit, finally. Oh, my gosh. You, yeah. And then all of a sudden you we go, We well, limit ourselves uh, before that. Yeah. We call it the lid. So the oh, leadership yes, lid. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is the perfect way to describe it. Yeah. And I've said before, like, just 
being able to say it out loud to another person and then them agreeing, um, it just gave me permission to do the things mm-hmm. I was going to do anyways. But it made me feel better about it because they would have told me if I was wrong. You know, well, like <laughs> true. And I mean, you will stop them if they're. I, well, if if I if I truly think it's a problem, yeah. I I will at least have them think through it. Yeah, you know, because ask more questions. Ask more questions, and that's my job as a coach is to truly just ask the question. Yeah, and make sure that it, there are dreams out there that are not you know the normal. Mm-hmm. You're going to break out of the normal mold. Leadership Harbor is not a normal coaching firm. We never started out to be normal. We didn't want to be normal. True North is not normal either in the way that you do things no. in the way that you develop your team. Yeah. So it, it, coaching is more about helping you to expand that thought process and not feel like just because I'm not doing what is normal, yeah. it doesn't make it wrong. Right, exactly. And you mentioned team. I think one of the coolest things that you guys do is um, going through your values. Mm. Um, what do you call the box with all the cards? The values cards. The values <laughs> cards. It's real simple. It's I real mean, simple. It's, it's real simple, yeah. She's creative with other things. <laughs> <laughs> no, we keep the values very true. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the values cards, we talk about core values. And yeah. they make your decisions. You're making decisions using those all the time. So right. why not be aware of them? Right. And that's where we tie in. That's why we connect mm-hmm. because that's why I named the company True North Technologies was if you make all of your decisions based on your values, inevitably, if you've gotten off of your path, mm-hmm. you will write your course exactly. and follow your True North. And I think you're just out there encouraging people to do that every day and it makes me really happy. So um, if any of you business owners out there are looking for a great, like, team building activity, Um, having Chris come in for a couple hours Mm -hmm. or even an afternoon um, and working through that with the team, it's super valuable. You'll learn a lot about each other and how to communicate um, and motivations behind actions for other people um, because inevitably they're making their choices based on what they value. Right. Exactly. Exactly. It creates understanding. It does create understanding. It also helps you to find the right people for the right seats in your business. I mean, when you have business values and you know that the values, I mean, I'm not saying that the values have to be exactly the same because they don't, but if they can't even meet, right, then there's going to be a challenge and you're not going to have a good situation. You're going to train and you're going to end up with people walking away much Mm -hmm. earlier than you would want them to do, spending all that time and money investment. Right. So... Values are important. One of our core values here is candor, and I feel like we got candor. You got candor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> my communication chakra is open, according to my Reiki. Reiki what? What do they call it? I don't know. I don't know. You're Reiki person? Yeah, I guess. It, yeah, I don't know. There's got to be a better word Consultant? For it, I don't know exactly what they would be. <laughs> Okay, we're way off topic. (laughs) Okay, but I want to talk about how um, I think everyone at your company, at Leadership Harbor, everyone is a John Maxwell certified um, coach. Is that correct? All but one. Okay. Well, actually, no, all but two. I'm going to clarify that. We have one that is a consultant that really does the number crunching of of budgets and debt reduction. Okay. And can, like, lay out a budget like I've never seen anybody else do. Nice. Um, but we have a Dave Ramsey coach. Oh, cool. So she does all of our financial coaching. And then the rest of them are all John Maxwell team um, certifi- certified coaches, mm-hmm. except Dax. Right. And he is a certified youth ambassador through the John Maxwell team. So right. um, he's so working not, on it. So you're not just working with random people off the street. You guys are very well versed in coaching. You, yep. You know, how many clients have you helped? Over the years. Oh, I can't even, uh, I, you know what, I've not really counted them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And, hey, boy. How many years have you been coaching? Well, uh, how many years I've been coaching, I started coaching um, 2002. So oh, I've been my. coaching a long time. Yeah. Leadership Harbor is four and a half years old. Yeah. So doing it from the John Maxwell method, um, I joined the John Maxwell team in 2015. So that's when I got my John Maxwell certification. Prior to that, I worked with uh, churches and pastors and was doing basically in one-to-one coaching with pastors. And then I would help churches 
uh, do group coaching and identify ministry and mission, which basically mm -hmm. is the same thing as a business. Right. It, I mean, they're really yeah. the translation isn't any different mm -hmm. other than the the verbiage that you use, whether you're using the faith verbiage or you're using business verbiage. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the process is not any different. Yeah, and I think that's important to note that you have experience in that area because there may be plenty of, you know, churches right now struggling with their membership and, um, you know, people got out of the habit of going mm -hmm. to a physical church and mm -hmm. maybe they need some help getting yeah. the crowd back. So. Well, maybe. And, yeah. and so, and, and we actually have, one of our coaches is actually um, a spiritual coach. And so we do spirituality um, in that, that lane because we all have our own specialties that we do. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, you know, we, all, we will coach with faith aspect if somebody wants that, mm -hmm. and we will not use that if they don't. So, right. um, but the business- tailor it. it. We can, absolutely. And because there's always going to be, you know, that person that you connect with differently, that you can just easily talk to and just comes mm -hmm. naturally, like it comes absolutely. for us. You know, like, um, it may be just, you know, a different sort of, skill set that that business owner comes mm -hmm. to the table with and by meeting all the different coaches you can really figure out you know who's going to be the best fit for you in that point in time because that's going to continue to change exactly so exactly and because we have a conglomeration i'm going to call it a conglomeration of coaches we yeah. collaborate a lot yeah and so if somebody is looking for some kind of um business coaching you know they might yeah. start with me they may do the DEI, the, the you mm -hmm. know, the diversity and equity and inclusion coaching. It, so, you know, we collaborate and we'll work with the same clients. We have some families that, you know, we coach their family is all over the place that everybody's coaching somebody different in the family. Oh, cool. And so we'll do family coaching. We'll do business coaching that way. And it, you're right. It's a personality. It's a match. And yeah. if you don't feel comfortable and trust the person that you're having yeah. candid <laughs> conversations with. Right. Uh, you know, you don't want to, you won't stay with the program. Right. You won't, you won't keep coming back and doing what is best for you. Right. So it is important to find a good, good fit. You got to interview yeah. a few coaches. Exactly. Before you set on, exactly. So. I always recommend that. Too. Yeah. And we offer a discovery session always, and it's a complimentary discovery session. Great. So that when people come in and they think they know who they want to work with, let's sit down and spend 30, 45 minutes together having that conversation about what you're looking for. Because if you don't match, then yeah. it's not going to be a good fit. Right. You know, you want the right person in the right chairs with you. So I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. What are um, some of your favorite quotes from John Maxwell? Oh. Let's see, how do I count them? Um, one I use all the time. I know, there's so many. I mean, he's written 85 books. How can there not be a quote from him, right? Yeah. Um, one of the, the things I use all the time <clears throat> is that you must lead yourself before you learn to lead others. That's excellent. And it's the best core foundational quote advice I've ever, I've ever received. Yeah. And I think that when we begin to apply that in a variety of ways, um, you know, you have to believe in yourself before you can believe in others. You have to love yourself mm -hmm. before you can love others. There's so many applications to that thought process. Yeah. But, yeah, that's that's my favorite. I use that one all the time. Well, and it's very applicable to what you're doing because you're helping that individual on a personal level so that they can go out and be a better leader with their team. Exactly. Because you can't <clears> – whether you learn – whether you come into coaching to grow yourself as a business person – or whether you come into coaching to grow yourself personally, mm -hmm. everything in your life will be affected by it. 100%. Because it changes you. Yep. I mean, it, it, it's a very positive changes. Yeah. And so it's going to filter through in everything that you do. Well, one of my core values is growth. And so that's why I really am passionate about coaching and continuing to learn mm -hmm. more about yourself and about how to be a better person all around. So grateful for you. Um, I use one of your quotes a lot, so I have to tell everybody that <laughs> this is the woman responsible for jump and grow your wings on the way down. Love that quote. Yes, I use that all the time and encouraging people to take that step if, you know, they're already kind of started a business mm -hmm. and they're thinking about going out there mm -hmm. and doing it for real. Just mm -hmm. do it. Like yeah. the hardest step is the first step. It is. The action is the hardest thing. And yeah. I'll tell you what, when you jump and grow your wings on the way down, 
First of all, you learn what you can risk and what you can't risk. Mm -hmm. You gain confidence that, that is unbelievable and you gain influence at the same time. And all of those things are, they're all about what you want. It's, it's all about unlocking your potential and empowering mm -hmm. yourself to be everything you want to be. Well, that is just what you inspire me to do. And I hope that Chris has done the same for you. And I really do encourage you all to take her up on the strategy session and yeah. see if there's anything that uh, Leadership Harbor can do for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We wanted to also talk about quick, um, I don't want to forget about the Live to Lead conference. Oh, Live to Lead. Yeah. Love, love, Live to Lead. I love, love, Live to Lead as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I've been the last two years, and John Maxwell is always one of the keynote speakers. Mm -hmm. um, this is a simulcast. It's a live simulcast yeah. out of Atlanta. Live. It is live mm -hmm. simulcast. So, right. But you get five speakers, and they're always so good. Uh -huh. um, name some of the ones that we've had in the past. Well, some of the ones we've had in the past... Oh, you're going to challenge me because I've only got the ones that are in my head right now. Um, well, they're usually CEO. They're of, usually CEO level. Wasn't the last one uh, automotive, like Ford? We had, yes, um, Alan Mullally. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he was great. Yes, and he was, he did Ford, and he also, um, oh, the airplane. Uh, Boeing. Boeing. Oh, yes. my gosh. How could I not remember that one? Look at our memories. This I know. Crazy. It's terrible. Well, but I know you I'm have focused now on ready. This is. Yeah. I bet you can tell us exactly who's I going can. to be speaking I this year. I can tell you exactly who's speaking this year. So John is definitely speaking. And then um, a man named Jeff Henderson, and he wrote the book called Four, best business marketing book I have read in a long time. I mean, there's a hint right there. Write it and down. And write it down. And um, I might say that if you show up for Live to Lead, you might or might not be able to have access to something like that book. Oh. But he is going to definitely be there. And yeah, really great, fun, fun individual. Um, he did a lot of marketing for uh, Chick fil A. Oh, interesting. And really has learned a lot, but he brings his expertise to the table that day. Valerie Burton is a coach, and she works on the psychology of coaching. And so she's going to talk about the positive psychology that comes with making shifts, changing, and allowing yourself to grow. Uh, and she's written a book, too, uh, about believing in yourself. So it's been a great book. The other person that is going to be speaking is Jamie Kern Lima. Now she was the, she's the CEO of L'Oreal Cosmetics. Started her own company, It Cosmetics, and it's all about her journey. I mean, this lady, I'm telling you, she is so down. I just met her last week. Literally oh, cool. met her last week, and That's I met fun. Valerie last week too. And and so I've had the opportunity to meet both of them. They are so real. That's awesome. And their stories are so applicable. And it doesn't matter if you're small business or big business. Yeah. Because they both started out with small business and That's have grown. Cool. And so, um, yeah, and then Ed Milet, podcaster. Oh. Incredible stories, incredible things he wants to talk about. And so it's all going to be focused on business development, personal development. Yeah. And it's going to be a great day. October No matter 8th. who you are <clears throat> and how old you are, it doesn't oh, matter. No, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, mean, you will get something out of this. We'll have 12-year-olds there. 2,000 things out of it every yeah. year. You. Just yeah. it's overload of awesome. And whether you're whether you're working, whether you're in school, whether you're retired, there's always mm -hmm. application. So the date? October eighth. Time. It's gonna start. We open the doors at seven fifteen. Yes, that's early. Um that is in the morning. And but but it's a live simulcast. And so we yeah. literally kick off at seven fifty. Okay. And we go until about three o'clock. Yeah. that afternoon but we're gonna feed you we're gonna give you excellent coffee we are going to probably feed you again and give you a little snack because we want to make sure that you're well fed and well yeah. loved on uh, we have all kinds of really fun things happening yeah and and then there's gonna be workshops in the afternoon you get to choose two of the workshops that you're gonna go to oh, awesome. and so we're, we're gonna break it out and let all the coaches do their magic well, I will be there. Oh, good. Um, so <laughs> looking forward to it. I'll look forward to seeing all of you at uh, Live to Lead this year. There and you, you go. can find all of that information on their website or on their Facebook page. So right, leadershipharbor.com. I, yep. I believe in you. I know you can do this. So <laughs> it's, it's well worth it. The most effective investment for you and your team. Yeah. And it's just a one-day wonder. It's so affordable. 
I mean, yeah. it sounds like after we talk about it, you're like, oh, what's that going to cost me? And yeah. it's not no. going to cost what you uh-uh, think it's going to uh-uh, cost. Uh-uh. So uh-uh. Not at all. It's going to be really easy. Out. So, yeah, please do. Please do. Yeah. Check it out. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for being on the show today. It was my so pleasure. fun. I could talk to you for like two hours, which <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> needs to see. So. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate you and all of your advice over the years and look forward to seeing you more in the future so thanks Renee thanks everyone for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you next week